Good morning, you guys. I am on like day three of wearing this sweater. I'm on day three of... How come every time I talk, you make the squawkies? Hmm? I'm not allowed to talk? I get so mad when I talk. So anyway, I'm on day three of like decorating and preparing to decorate for fall. I'm going crazy. I've been like, it's just like little things here and there that I need to get finished up, like wrapped up. Not little things, big things. I've been doing some big DIYs. Um, I did a sign and then I also did, which if you guys are new here, I used to make signs like in our business and then I stopped making them. So I've been making signs for a long, long time. I have several sign DIYs here on my channel. And anyways, I did another sign, which you guys will see in the upcoming fall decorate with me. So anyways, I am sitting here. I got my new Nespresso machine in this week. I wonder, I was gonna look for you guys because on my Instagram, I shared it um, because it, I literally got my Nespresso machine for like half off and it's the, I got the original, like the Virtuo, just like the regular one. Um, and then I also got, it came with like an aerator. So instead of like $300, I got it for like 160 total. It was such a good deal, um, but I was gonna look for you guys to see if it was still on sale. Um, because I know I was waiting for it. My sister had gotten it earlier this summer on that sale for like half off. So about a week ago, I wanna say it was about like a week and a half ago, um, I went on to Macy's and I found that the Nespresso machines were almost half off. Um, they're back to the original pricing. I shared it with you guys because it was such a quick sale. I shared it with you guys over on my Instagram, but I'm hoping that I'm able to catch it next time because I heard that they do have this sale off. And um, my sister had gotten the Nespresso machine earlier this summer um, on that sale as well. And then I just got it last week. So I know that they run the sale often. Next time they run the sale, I will plan to do a day in the life so that I can upload the video right away the next morning and hopefully you guys can catch that sale because it's such an amazing deal like right now it is back to three hundred and twelve dollars and I got it for a hundred a hundred and sixty so it is so good I will just do um, I think it's like the double chiaro double espresso chiaro so it's like a double shot of espresso um, and the blend is really, really good. And then I'll just do um, heavy cream in my aerator because um, our Target's been out of oat milk, which is like, that's my favorite. Um, I usually don't like to drink dairy, but um, Target's been out of oat milk and they're the only place that carries the oat milk that I like, so bah. Anyway, um, and then I will do a little bit of sugar-free caramel in it, just like a drizzle, and it's so good. And I like to have it in the clear coffee or like the clear like mason jars and then I just have like a little like sweater like sleeve for it, super cute. I think my sister-in-law made this for me and then this is my, um, my um, late grandmother's button. So my, husband, my husband's grandmother, um, this is a button from her collection so it's just like, it's just super special. Anyway, it's really yummy. Okay, so like I said, lots of DIYs this week, lots of things happening, lots of things changing in my house. So just keep in mind when you see my fall decorate with me that it is still not complete. Um, I still have quite a bit I need to finish. Um, I decided to put the shelves on the back burner for now. I did put up the shelf that was missing, um, but I decided to put the rest of it on the back burner for a little bit just because it was so much to get done before I got that decorate with me out. And I know I'm a perfectionist, but I also know that you guys just want to see what I have in store for my fall decorations this year. I'm like looking at everything right now. I've got a little bit put up. Um, I am trying to decide like what to do with some of it. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby today. Um, and also just wanted to include a side note that Home Goods was really, really empty today. Or really empty this week. I don't know if they were restocking or if it was because of COVID, but um, I was super disappointed. Um, anyway, I just want to include like a little baby tiny tiny haul for you guys um, that I got yesterday to kind of fill in in um, in a couple of places for my fall decor. So anyway, I've got this huge bag of moss. This is real moss that I got from Home Goods, um, and then I just got a big um, charcuterie tray um, type of thing. It's like a 
But let me see if I can show you guys the treat last without like giving too much away. Um, but I also got some, I also picked up um, two of these candle holders and um, I really liked like the whitewashing and like the top is like a black metal. I love it so much. Um, and then let me see if I can show you guys. The tray is heavy and it's the tray is heavy and it's on the table right now. But I'm gonna try and just like zoom in and show you guys this tray that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I don't want to give too too much away, but I did um, do a little bit of this like moss in the tray. Um, but this is the tray. It was only twenty dollars from Home Goods. It's super heavy and it has this like cast iron handle on it as well. I'm so excited to show you guys what I have up my sleeve for all of the fall decor because like as you can see here I've been experimenting with different things in the middle and it's so cute. I absolutely love it. Okay and then I also picked up a few things from Bath and Body Works. I had just barely missed the three wick, three wick candle sale so don't worry guys i'm going to have another really big bath and body haul coming for you very soon as soon as they have that 11.95 candle sale again i'm going to run over there i'm a little confused because i always get like coupons in the mail right around this time of year and i didn't even get coupons inside my box like with this order um but anyways gonna run over when they have the 11.95 candle sale i'll probably stock up on some more wallflowers but just to get me started with my fall season favorites i picked up the pumpkin pecan waffles now this is one of my go-to's and has been for years ever since i worked at bath and body like 10 years ago this has been one of my absolute favorites um, I can't remember if they named it this exact one 10 years ago, but I know for sure that they had like um, the same scent. So um, I love that one. Another one that I really love is White Pumpkin. Um, another one I really like is the Sweater Weather and Cider Lane. And um, uh, there's one more that I really like. But this is my ultimate favorite. And this is what I have been getting essentially ever since it came out the very first year, Leaves. Now this is, oh, this just, it smells like fall. It smells like home to me. I've scented my house with this for so long, even outside of the fall season. Um, just a little trick for you guys if you really do like the leaves scent because it's just so homey. Um, you can actually buy a six pack on um, bathandbodyworks.com year round. So um, I did pick up a few wallflowers as well. Um, I put the other ones inside of the um, wallflower plugins already, which you guys will see in my fall decorate with me. But I did a sweater weather in the basement. I did a white pumpkin in the entryway. And then I have leaves upstairs here in the main living area. And then I've got two more leaves plugins for when those run out. But like I said, I do plan on doing a massive haul for Bath and Body. Um, I just can't resist in the fall, in the winter, I cannot resist their yummy scents. Um, and it just smells like home and just, there's nothing better than like coming home to like a freshly lit bath and body candle. It's one of my favorites, like in the fall, oh, it's so good. So anyways, my two favorite candles are the leaves and pumpkin pecan waffles, white pumpkin, cider lane, and sweater weather. Those are my go-tos. Um, some other ones that my friends have suggested, there's like a cranberry one but I'm more of like a warmer scented person so I really like like caramelly and like just like cozy smells um, if you go smell those candles that I recommended or buy those candles that I recommended um, you'll see that I kind of like the same scents um, somebody else recommended I think it was flannel and marshmallow fireside again I used to work at Bath and Body Works so I can tell you that all of their scents are wonderful um, the sweet cinnamon pumpkin a few years ago was really light. It was too lightly scented, which I was kind of disappointed by because that would be something that I really, really like. Um, but it wasn't scented enough for me, um, like to fill my house. So anyway, okay. I hope you enjoyed the like mini home goods and Hobby Lobby and <laughs> Bath and Body Works haul. As you guys can see, I've been like prepping and prepping and prepping for this fall decorate with me video and it's just taking me a long time to get everything in order but anyways all right i'm been chatting at you for quite a bit so i'm going to scoop for a little bit i'm going to get some of my decorating done here this morning i need to hang a curtain rod a little hint of what i'm doing 
need to hang a curtain rod and then it's time to decorate. So anyways, okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I just got done recording my um, fall decorate with me. I spent like all week on it. I am so tired. Yeah, and the girls made it a mess in the entryway. I look like a hot mess. I worked so hard on those decorations and I hope that you guys love that video. I'm so excited. Don't forget that it's gonna go live on Sunday morning at 7 a.m. I am dead. Um, and now I just need some tortilla soup and I'm running to go pick up a bench from a customer that we need to fix. So, all right. My sister is going to watch the kids. Actually, let's go out the garage. Yeah. Because then, um, what's it called? Um, then they won't get out that front door. Ooh, okay, a little sneaky peeky behind me of some of the fall decor that I've got going on, but I just got back from picking up a bench from a customer's place. We have to like add a, um, like a separator in there for baskets. So I just got done picking that up. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of my tortilla soup. Um, I did share a recipe for this in a couple of videos, but it's so good. I always have like a little dollop of sour cream and shredded cheese, and I have it with tortilla chips. It's 8.30, so it's going to be a late night for me. I need to finish editing this video for you guys. Tomorrow morning I am going to finish editing my fall decorate with me um, and get some final shots in and some pictures and things like that, and I need to finish cleaning. So it's gonna be like a fall decorate and clean with me and it's I'm so excited everything came together so well I can't wait to like share all of the final shots with you guys it's gonna be so good so I guess a little sneak peek behind me but anyways all right I am going to leave you guys there for today um, I am going to sit down like I said I'm gonna eat my soup edit this video so the fall decorating clean with me will be live 7 a.m. on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. I've worked so hard on that one for you guys. I've literally been working my butt off all week to make sure that it's perfect, that the decor came together nicely, and I'm excited to share a couple of new surprises in the house with you. So anyways, all right, I will see you guys on Sunday for that fall decorating clean with me. Okay, bye you guys.